With Cry Havoc, we've told you about the four rich factions. We've told you about the battle system, which is really innovative. We told you about the hand management and how it's key to the strategy in the game. We've told you about the really cool deck building me mechanism that allows you to customize your army to fight on this alien planet. So what else do you need to know about Cry Havoc? Well, Cry Havoc is this epic, rich, science fiction board game that is full of so much breadth and so many ways to play and so much that you need to learn to be really good at it. There are so many skills available to the players, but you only play with a few of them every game, which means that what powerful options are available to you, how you're gonna optimize and, and take advantage of your army is different every game based on those skills that are in play. There are also several buildings, um, and the machines have five, whereas everyone else has three, that will change whether you're more defensive, whether you are more aggressive, whether you're pumping crystals out of the ground, based on what you build, based on how players move, it's gonna change every game. Let's talk about the factions. You've got the pilgrims who, if you let them, they're gonna sit back and they're gonna pull crystals out of the ground. They're gonna use those crystals to power their almost cheating-like technology, and they're gonna sit back and they're gonna score. Now, let's say you go up and try to attack them and keep them from scoring, well, they can start teleporting units to your rear, to your flanks, to keep you from doing that. They can also move units from adjacent regions, if they have certain structures, to allow them to defend themselves better. Or, they could just be a lot more aggressive. They could teleport to your area, take your crystals, and then defend that better. And then, instead of having to use movement actions with their cards, they could just teleport and do other ways to move those units to the front line so that they can spend that on recruitment and building powerful structures. What about the Trogs? With the Trogs, you can zip around the planet and just be this aggressive, roaming, almost Mongol-like horde using the tunnels to appear everywhere at all times. You can be really passive. You could sit back, you could lay traps, you could take advantage of the rich crystal beds at the, beds at the center of the planet and dare people to come into your trap. Or you can use your skills to place hidden war parties all over the map. You may not even have a single trog unit visible on the map and then suddenly, almost as if out of the ground, they appear and you could suddenly be everywhere and just have these huge overwhelming waves. And whereas other people have to be careful with how many units they're using with the trogs, you can just keep throwing them in, keep attacking with them. The humans can fly all around the map and they can use their air cavalry and their drop pods to take advantage of empty and exposed regions. They can then build the watchtower there, which means that they don't even have to put units there. They don't have to recruit. They can put the watchtower, they can put the artillery position, and that lets them fight battles for them using their equipment, using their technology. You best not leave your, 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 your flank exposed because they're going to show up. They're going to take advantage of that. They're going to score it, and they're going to use their equipment. You've got to watch out for those humans. And again, they're very different than the others. Then there's the machines who they can use their abilities to have really efficient, very effective fighting forces wherever they choose to fight or they can move slowly, methodically, and effectively build a Death Star-like fortress structure on the planet with all these different buildings and be, you know, just have this impregnable robot fortress. Are you gonna let them build that way? Or are you gonna try to go elsewhere? Um, it's, there's, there's just so many ways to play and there's so many different things that happen in this game that make it so that every game feels very different. Cry Havoc is this epic sci-fi story that we want you to tell, that we want you to be a part of. And this is coming from Portal Games, the company that is known for board games that tell stories. So you should suit up and get on the planet and get ready to tell the story of Cry Havoc and what your story is ultimately going to be. Cry Havoc's coming out from Portal Games this Gen Con 2016. Come by the booth, pre-order it online, come see us, learn the game and learn why you're going to go home and this is going to be your game of the year. Take a look, check it out. We are ready for invasion, Commander.